You've heard of Bitcoin, but what is it really? Imagine money that exists only online, no banks, no paper, just digital code. Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency, a secure digital form of money powered by cryptography. It runs on a public ledger called the blockchain, visible to everyone. Unlike your bank account, Bitcoin isn't controlled by any government or company. It's decentralized, managed by a global network of computers that verify transactions. No single authority is in charge. The system relies on math and consensus. This is revolutionary. For the first time, money isn't tied to a central power. Bitcoin lets people send value directly to each other, anywhere in the world, without a middleman. Think of it like sending an email, but with money. It's open to anyone with internet access, secure and transparent. Bitcoin is a new kind of money for the digital age, built on code, community, and a bold vision. And that's the story we're about to explore. Our story starts in late 2008, during a global financial crisis. Amid distrust in banks, a mysterious figure named Satoshi Nakamoto published a nine-page white paper, Bitcoin Media Group. Close-up of the first page of the Bitcoin white paper on a laptop screen, person holding printed Bitcoin white paper, over-the-shoulder shot of someone reading a document at at stock at at distribute underscore equally, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. Quietly posted to a cryptography mailing list, it outlined how to create digital money that couldn't be copied or spent twice. The solution? A public ledger, the blockchain, where all transactions are recorded and verified by a network, not a bank. Satoshi's true identity remains unknown, adding to Bitcoin's mystique. After guiding Bitcoin's early development, Satoshi vanished in 2011, leaving the project to the community. The white paper's goal was clear empower individuals with a financial system outside traditional institutions. Bitcoin was born as a direct response to broken trust in banks. It offered a radical peer-to-peer -peer vision for money, open, transparent, and free from central control. And it all began with that simple, elegant document. In January 2009, Satoshi launched Bitcoin by mining the Genesis block, embedding a newspaper headline about bank bailouts as a message. The first transaction soon followed, Satoshi sent 10 Bitcoins to Hal Finney, proving the system worked. Early on, Bitcoin had no real-world value, just a handful of enthusiasts mining and sending coins for fun. Everything changed on May 22, 2010, Bitcoin Pizza Day, when Laszlo Haniec paid 10,000 Bitcoins for two pizzas. That purchase gave Bitcoin tangible value for the first time. Suddenly, this digital experiment could buy real things. The price was trivial then, but the impact was huge. Bitcoin had crossed from code to commerce. The story of the world's most expensive pizzas captured imaginations. From that moment, Bitcoin began to grow beyond its small circle. A new era had begun. After the pizza purchase, Bitcoin's journey became a wild ride. In 2011, one Bitcoin equaled one US dollar, a milestone that drew media and investor attention. Booms and busts followed, prices soared, crashed and soared again. In 2013, Bitcoin hit $1,000, then plunged, testing believers' faith. Each cycle brought new users, developers, and legitimacy. Major companies like Microsoft began accepting Bitcoin, and financial institutions took notice. The 2017 boom was even bigger. Bitcoin neared $20,000, sparking global frenzy. Volatility became part of Bitcoin's story. Each crash weeded out speculators, leaving a core community. These cycles fueled growth, funding better exchanges, wallets, and infrastructure. Despite setbacks, Bitcoin survived and kept expanding. Its resilience turned it from a niche experiment into a global financial asset. The roller coaster continues, but so does the belief in its potential. Bitcoin's wild ride is far from over. Today, Bitcoin is more than a tech curiosity. It's a global phenomenon. For many, it's digital gold, a store of value against inflation and instability. In countries with weak currencies, people use Bitcoin to protect their savings. It's also a tool for sending money across borders quickly and cheaply, bypassing expensive remittance services. In places like El Salvador, you can even buy coffee or pay taxes with Bitcoin. But challenges remain, energy use, price swings, and regulatory uncertainty. The debate over Bitcoin's environmental impact has pushed the community toward greener solutions. Volatility makes daily use tricky, and governments are still figuring out how to respond. Yet, Bitcoin's real power is in the questions it raises about money, trust, and who controls value. From a mysterious white paper to a global movement, Bitcoin has already changed the world. 
Whether it's the future of finance or a bold experiment, its impact is undeniable.